Hi, my name is Sam Dhani Shekharan and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this video, we will uh, continue to discuss about uh, SGI Database Buffer Cache. In the previous video, we talked about when the writes occur, meaning that the data from buffer getting written to the disk, okay, the data files. Okay. So we uh, talked about a scenario where if the dirty buffers, the number of dirty buffers go above a threshold or if the number of free buffers go below a threshold, then Oracle gets Oracle sends a signal and then the process DB writer, DB writer writes the blocks to the appropriate data files. Okay, there is also another event called checkpoint. What this is, Oracle has uh, online redo logs. Okay, uh, online redo logs are nothing but files stored in the disk where the contents from redo log buffer are sent to okay I mean, remember the video uh, in one of the previous previous videos I explained uh, what happens when something is written to the database buffer let's say something is written here all right the the metadata of how the value the was changed also gets written to log buffer so that if something happens from here it can be reconstructed actually when i say from here i'm wrong uh, this goes to the log buffer which is still in the memory But when the process commits the transaction, data from here goes to redo log files. So they get stored in disk based file system, okay, as redo log files. So even in this case, when a crash happens, Oracle when it gets restarted next time it would be able to construct the same operation by using the redo information from here okay so and redo log operates like a cyclical fashion like you now there will be log 1 log 2 log 3 uh, like that if we configure three log files you know i'm just quickly telling you overview uh, probably I'll talk about redo logs later. So once this is full, uh, then it goes to the next file, and if this and after that, if that gets full, then it goes to the next file, and if this gets full, it goes to this file. Okay, so it's like a cyclical fashion. So, but the important thing is from here when it goes to the next file, right? A checkpoint happens. Okay, a checkpoint doesn't always have to happen here, but what I'm saying is when it switches, a checkpoint happens. So, in that case, all the you know uh, the blocks that needs to be written gets written also. Okay, so remember that uh, in the previous case where you know if it goes below certain threshold in terms of free free blocks, or if it goes above. Uh, the threshold in terms of dirty blocks then data gets written to the data files whether it's committed or not okay that's very important whether it's committed or not uh, and also during a checkpoint the data gets written thank you